What is going on, race fans and YouTube? My name is NASCAR Fan4338, and welcome to Train Simulator 2016. Uh, so, if you guys have been on the channel for quite some time, I uploaded a Train Simulator 2016 video about a month ago, I would say. And so, I got a lot of views on that, which I'm surprised. I'm not really sure if there's a lot of people um, who subscribed who also want to see Train Simulator content. So, I decided. I would try to find a good running uh, screen recorder and just ways to record this game. And so here we are with more Train Simulator 2016, again with commentary and such. I'm having some problems. I'm having to use a separate voice recorder in order to record it. I'm using the OBS uh, software, which is works working excellent. Um, as long as the frame rates in the game are fine then everything else should be all right uh, but yeah i have to get the sound is going to be picked up from the mic so if you can hear that through the uh uh the computer that's great um then i really don't have to do much other than that if not then i gotta fix that part but overall the sound so that i need to work out other than that everything else seems to work okay again train simulator 2016 on my computer isn't the best it's kind of laggy um so hopefully hopefully it doesn't turn out too bad so we're gonna do a short little scenario um originally i was gonna do the sherman hill one which the with the emd sw10 switcher from union pacific i was really originally gonna do that it's a nice short one too um and yeah honestly i'm not sure what else i could do um but i'm gonna go ahead and look around and see if there is anything short that I can do, short scenario, so I don't want anything too long. And I like to keep them American. I like to keep it an American route. I'm more comfortable with those trains than other ones. I do have a lot of routes too. Uh, you know, we're, we're gonna do this other one with the switcher um since i've done it several times and i know what i'm doing even though it's kind of slow so it's an emd sw10 switcher from union pacific number uh, 96 and we're helping to get a heritage fleet fueled up in preparation for a special run in the evening so let's go ahead and get this thing started up hi again There'll be a special train using the UP's Heritage Fleet later today, and your job is to help with fueling. In switcher number 96, you have several jobs in which you will take around Cheyenne. You will also learn some tips for understanding your task list and how to navigate complex yards. So at the same time, this is a very informative uh, route in a way, or, or scenario. Alright, so he wants me to do a bunch of stuff, and this is basically talking about your task list and to get to, like, the main, um, you know, all the main stuff you need, uh, with navigating through yards and things like that. Um, so here's the inside of a switcher. I'm sorry if I'm, like, talking loud, because I don't know if you guys can hear the speakers. I'm gonna try not to talk too loud. Um, because like I said, I have to run the sound through the speaker. So with your task log, you can see that your current task list is highlighted. Also has location aid. So it basically just shows you where you can go. I'm just gonna close the window and it's telling us to go right over there. And that's telling us more about like what this does on the right hand side here. Oh, my mouse is lagging. Ah, uh, that's weird. Um, so just, you know, a quick couple things you can use. So I'm gonna get this turntable, go forward. Yeah, so far the frames per second isn't too bad. And I have to use my, uh, what did I just press? Oh. I need to use the keyboard. My uh, controller broke. So, I'm having, I have, I'm having used the keyboard since like I said my controller broke. Hopefully, I get a new one for Christmas. So we gotta go up there. We're just going via it, so we don't have to stop for a while.
And this is too slow. The yard is just crazy slow. Can't wait to reach <laughs> reach 10 miles per hour. <coughs> Here's me, goodness. Alright, so we reached that point. Can we go 10 miles per hour now? Any day, any day. There we go, 10 miles per hour. Gonna go to the reverse point now. This is one of those cool switchers where you can see the bell move. That's pretty cool. That's at the horn. Where's the horn? I like that horn. Uh, let's get ourselves to the. Get ourselves to the reverse point. Coming train. So as you guys can tell, I do play a lot of Train Simulator. Um, I don't know if you want to say I'm big into it. I've always enjoyed it. And uh, just kind of liked it. I don't know why, um, but yeah, I, I do play a lot of Train Simulator. I do have a lot of the American route, a lot of American routes, I should say. Um, but this is kind of another cool thing I like to do if. I'm really bored. I got nothing else to do. This will pass a lot of time by. It's always cool to play this. I mean, it's probably just me who thinks that. Everyone probably else thinks I'm crazy that I play Train Simulator, but I enjoy a lot of other people do. It's kind of like Euro Truck Simulator. That's always cool. So I just like it because of the realism and how these are real routes. They take Google Map overlays and they even go over to the areas and they make sure they get the route spot on perfect. So. Uh, that's what I really like about these routes. Alright, so we need to couple up to this thing. Try to speed. Hopefully I hit the right brakes. I think it's that. Yeah. I would use the train brake. You don't want to go any faster than about four miles per hour hitting that thing. Right there's about good. We'll just coast right to it. And apply the brakes one more time. Ooh, that's going to be hard hit. Oh, we didn't even couple up to it. <laughs> that's happened too many times. too badly. You want me to dump this up off at a siding up ahead. So we will take the brakes off. Come off brakes. There you go. And I want to make sure on <coughs> the map I'm going the right way. I was 11 so I think all my, all my switches are set. Like the, uh, you know, you, you can easily put AI trains in. Basically, your train that you are driving is an AI train. Um, they're all AI trains. I mean, we're on the computer. Uh, it's all computerized movement. I mean, like I said, this is basically an AI train, but it's, it's, you know, the instructions are told that the 
the player is the one who controls this train compared to all the other ones but you know it's pretty cool that you can have random trains come through on random schedules some people do create like create their own scenarios where they're um where they replicate you know a normal run on a on a, on a main line and uh they'll have that train go through which is pretty interesting but i think i have to stop right about here not exactly sure where i stop Maybe if I look on the map, I'll understand it. Oh, yeah, I was right. Ooh, am I past the switch? Oh, I've just passed it. Okay, I gotta go back. And we'll reverse. There's a reverser. It's that one. There you go. Back it right into that siding. For a light diesel engine like this, that little hopper car is a lot of weight <laughs> for something weak like this i guess you say this is kind of like the beginner's uh train in a way fun little one i like the scenario too like you go th all throughout the yard which is nice so uh, because some a lot of the routes that they create they make the yards but they don't give scenarios and a lot of other people don't make scenarios for it As soon as the engine gets stopped, we have to uncouple it right here in Cheyenne Old 11, which is the old this is the siding. Right, couple. The red is our engine. We're dropping the ten or uh, hopper off there, and this is just to show us that we have to get to a location on the map. We have to get to. We have to go. We have to go via this track. So we have to, we have to go on that track, and then we have to go up to this diesel pump right here. That is our goal, at least. And then we have to pick up these two cars uh, later on. So yeah. So let's get down over here, and then back up into Cheyenne Old Eight. So anyways, uh, kind of a boring start to this video. I wasn't too happy with the OBS software. Like I said, for every reason, it wouldn't pick up my voice. So I have to make separate. I have to use the voice recorder on here to pick up my voice. And I don't know how it's going to pick up the game voice. So uh, hopefully I will get it all sorted out. I was originally using Xbox cap the Xbox capture thing um, from the Xbox app that is available here on Windows 10 and I was originally using that and that's how I got that video for you guys of the Union Pacific EFE-3 steam locomotive um, and for every reason kinda like after that there were problems with the with it like not recording in a great quality so it just wouldn't work for whatever reason again i don't know why but um it just get the quality would get blurry and stuff and it just wasn't the best so um that's why i haven't really uploaded a train simulator thing in about a month it's been about a month um so yeah but like i said i'm kind of big into trains uh kind of started with model trains uh my dad showed me his old collection of model trains and i kind of have my own model layout and um hobbies are very expensive including model railroading that's really expensive most of the little di uh, die cast ho scale diesel locomotives are roughly 200 bucks for like the best stuff that they have and for what you're looking for so they can be expensive so the cheapest thing here is you have train simulator and that's the best i can do um i saw i mean I like it more because of how realistic it is. Excuse me, because like those buildings over, all those buildings right there are all realistic. You know, they they all place them in the right spots. They're all there in real life, um, and they get the grades down really good too, and the scenery well. So that's probably the main reason why I like it the most. 
Coming up on a little crossing, I'll blow my horn anyways. I do believe this turntable is where most of the uh, res restored steam locomotives are that Union Pacific restored. Uh, they have the Challenger, Union Pacific EFE-8, and they're about to restore the big boy that came from San Bernardino, um, California. They're going to restore that. They took a trip, I think, last year. They brought the steam locomotive up. So they're going to restore that, and it's going to be the biggest. Ba it's going to go back to the biggest operating steam locomotive in the world um, back to its restoration. So it's kind of pretty pretty cool that they're doing that all right so starting about 200 feet or on the bottom here it says 0 0.03 miles I'm gonna hit the brakes right here sharp braking I don't think I parked right in front of the pump uh, will I still be able to feel it uh, I have to be right in front of it gosh darn I don't like this braking. It's complicated. That guy's just like waiting there. It's like, why'd you hurry up for crying out loud? All right, there we go. Now we gotta fill it up. You can see the fuel thing go up. I usually don't like turning on lights unless it gets dark because that takes out a lot of frames per second. And when you start out, the cab lights actually come on for whatever weird reason, and that lags up the game a lot, so you usually have to automatically turn those off. And then when there's other diesel locomotives around, it just gets so laggy. It's, I mean, it's literally unreal how bad it gets. So sometimes there'll be random routes where, like, you wonder why the quality just went terribly bad, terribly wrong. All right, so we're gonna go back and pick up two of the two more cars, drop them off, and then go back to where we started. And that is the end of the scenario. See, I don't mean to be too boring. It's kind of late. I got done making a Formula One video. Um, but yeah, um, I know there's a few subscribers who do so did subscribe because of the train simulator part. And if you guys do like it, let me know if you want to see more. I will try not to be lazy tired <laughs> when i'm trying to make these videos i'll try to be at least awake for you guys um and i'll probably say more a lot of the guys who do play train simulator they don't even say much it'll be a good like five minutes without saying something and then they might you know make a comment but sometimes it's not even needed to talk really um so that's why i don't see a need to talk I also don't like trying to talk and play video games at the same time. I just lose my concentration. That's why I'm sticking to league races, like in, for NASCAR and Formula One, is because I cannot um, talk and race. I understand the braking. It's going all over the place. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this quality is good. I've done this done this scenario multiple times and probably too many times just because the quality didn't turn out well and uh, I think I got the OBS software working. I tried like the first option of the OBS and apparently you needed the more like multi-platform one the multi-platform one would would almost like like the elgato capture card software it runs on its own um storage or whatever and it doesn't rely much on the computer's needs and so i accidentally clicked the other one and so the multi-platform one is more on like itself oh break it's gonna be a hard hit Whew. Um, and so before it wouldn't really record that well. All right, it's gonna be tough one of these. So, anyways, hopefully this all turns out. It's like a little. Huh, there's a little hole underneath this track. They done goofed. <laughs> Sometimes they goof around. They goof on the maps. 
I find ways to fix that for them. <laughs> It's a cool thing about Train Simulator, how people cre can create like reskins, and you can add them as like mods to the game. There's also like um, there's like routes you can get like scenarios and route, or you can get scenarios from online, and you can also get routes. Like as long as you buy, like if you buy a route, it comes with certain assets. And people can use those assets to make routes, like other routes, and they can even create like real routes. And so people have created actual routes, and as long as you have those assets and those routes, you can uh, you can uh, use them. Uh, am I going the right way? I have to switch that. Good thing I looked. I have to switch that, and I also have to come over here and like switch those, switch that. <laughs> oh, so much to look after. Yeah, just two cars on this train is really pulling the speed down a lot. That we should turn right here. Mini crossing. Alright. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can really hear uh, the computer at all. Like, the mic is literally sitting right next to the computer, so I think you guys would hear a little bit of it, but I know you guys would hear my voice more. So I'm not really sure what to expect, but I do have to overlay the voice uh, with the video. Yeah, it's going to be complicated how I'm going to do it. I'm probably just going to, like, make sure it's all lined up, save that as one video, and then make a completely new video with, like, you know, my intro thing and outro, so my voice and then the audio is always in sync i never know if it really is in sync too because the game does lag a lot um so i'm not sure if if um if like the timing on the game is completely off to my voice again i'm not 100 percent sure all right we can dive in the music Couple that. And last but not least, we go back to where we came from. I already blew my horn. Oh, okay. A lot of power. We don't need that much. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you're still sticking around in this video, so the other routes I have are. Uh, I have the Cajon Pass, Donner Pass, Stevens Pass, this here is the Sherman Hill route, um, what else? Pacific Surfliner, Miami to West Palm Beach, and Soldier Summit are the American routes I have. They're the only type I really do like, and I think I only have two foreign routes. So I'm not too sure on uh, doing those, but I'll do American routes. That'll probably be my motto, American all the way. <laughs> or <laughs> Union Pacific, we deliver. It doesn't say we deliver on the side of this, does this? No, it doesn't. That is Union Pacific's motto. Okay, so we need to get to that track. So we need to go past over there. I used to play Train Simulator like I was like this, like I was in a racing game and I did straight on. And then I kind of moved over to the side, and then I've been starting to do the uh, the interior view, like sitting here. It's kind of quieter too. It softens the uh, the volume, which is pretty realistic. Alright, let us get on the brakes right about here. More brake! More brake! More brake! Ooh, just perfect, okay. And we switch that one, and we should get there. And yeah, last but not least, here we go. 
I'm gonna reverse it. So technically when you're in the yard like we are right now, you're supposed to have your bell on the whole entire time, but that gets annoying. And again, if you guys can hear the audio, that would get annoying for you guys. So I didn't do that. Um, and technically, I'm supposed to have my lights on either the front or the rear. And also in the inside, there is a beacon light. Which one is that? Which is this spinny thing on the top here. Which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, but I decided not to because of how annoying it gets and also how laggy any of those could get to you stop right about tell me stop further but I'm technically on that track so I don't need to go any further just stop right here it's telling me to do that mm -hmm. There you have it. There's the first scenario I'll ever do. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll build up from this, whether it be sh shunting routes like that to uh, big, um, big uh, freight routes. That's about all the time I can give you guys. Uh, that's the end of this scenario. Good job. If you're familiar with Cheyenne and how to navigate around the yard, so no excuses in the future, guys no excuses whatsoever so we completed all the nine of nine targets so i guess i sped once and these are just the things i've uh, done so but yeah as you guys can see these are dunner pass cajon stevens sherman hill pacific Survivor, iron miami west palm beach soldier some oh i also forgot the northfolk southern coal district can't forget that one that's probably my favorite one out of all of them um a lot of grades and it's you know kind of narrow and tight um so pretty nice i'm done donner passing forever um and then yeah these are the two foreign ones london uh favors favor sam high speed and hamburg hanover i like the high speed i think this one is the one with the passenger line i don't know but they're all pretty good so that's Again, that's about it. Uh, thanks to everyone who did watch this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will try to create better ones in the future. So um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, I'm NASCARFan4348, and I'll see you guys in the next video.